And by the way, there's some new movie out about the flood. Has anybody heard of this Noah movie? Is it out yet or is it about to come out? Is it already in theater? Oh, let's go watch it. No, let's not. Because I didn't even have to know anything about this movie to just know it's not going to be biblical. Because I've seen enough Bible movies to know that they have nothing to do with the Bible. I mean, I've seen some crazy Bible movies. I saw a Bible movie one time where it was, it was about Noah's Ark. And this is an older one. And God destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah like before Noah gets on the ark. It's like, what in the world? Because the flood happens in like Genesis 7 and 8. And, and Sodom and Gomorrah is like chapter 18 and 19. You know, but that's the way these, these Hollywood movies, they take a lot of liberties. And they basically just change everything. And, and I, I, I saw uh, some articles about the new movie, so I, I actually read up on the new movie. You know, I already knew. Somebody asked me about it before I read up on it. Are you going to go see that? I'm like, well, you know, I haven't gone to the movie theater in like 12 or 13 years. You know, I'm not going to go to see this. Because everything that Hollywood puts out is garbage. Amen. You know, it's all there to brainwash you according to their agenda. They have a really specific agenda. And if they're coming out with a Bible movie, it has a satanic purpose. Yeah. Period. End of story. Because every movie that they come out with, and, and, and sometimes they'll even come out with a really good movie that has a good message and everything's great, but there'll always be one thing in it that's really bad. And really, the devil just uses all the good stuff in the movie just to get you in there to see that pornographic scene or, just, you know, whatever it is that slipped it, what the agenda, the message. I wouldn't trust Hollywood to just educate me and just put whatever garbage in my mind. That's why I don't believe that you should watch TV. You shouldn't go to movies because it's just all programming of this world and of Satan. But I read up on this Noah movie. And from what I read, it's so bad. I mean, it has nothing to do with story. Basically, according to this new movie, God just wants to kill everybody. Like, because, you know, in the Bible, he wants to save Noah, and he wants to save Noah's kids. And, and, you know, he basically just wants to wipe out the wicked people, and he wants them to start over with Noah and just kind of repopulate the earth. Well, in this new movie... Basically, God just loves the animals and the plants. It's like an environmentalist thing. And, and, and basically, he's saying, you know, humans are the problem. Humans are destroying the earth. So God wants to just wipe out all humans. And the only reason that he's even building the ark is not to save man, but it's just to save the animals. You know, but, but the animals aren't going to be able to build the ark, apparently. Or, 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 you know, handle the thing. I don't know. So basically, you know, Noah is just kind of a necessary evil just to save the animals. You know, it's all about saving the animals. Whereas in the Bible, the Bible is really clear that God had Noah build the ark to save mankind. Yeah, right. And the animals were so that we could have something to eat when we get off the ark. Yeah. I mean, that's pretty much it. That's what they're even there for, is, is to be used and to be eaten, okay? That's why the first thing when he gets off the ark, God tells him, every, every living thing that moveth shall be meat for you. And a lot of people will try to say, no, no, you know, they, they couldn't eat pigs, they couldn't eat this, you know, the Hebrew roots crowd. But guess what? He said every living thing that moveth. Who believes that? That includes all animals. He's saying you can eat all animals. Now, later in the Mosaic Law, that's restricted that they can only eat clean beasts and that they cannot eat unclean beasts. Now, some people will try to say, well, but the Bible talked about clean and unclean beasts in Noah's day. Why did he bring seven of certain animals and two of the other? It's because he's going to eat the seven. Wrong. It's because he's going to sacrifice unto the Lord of the clean beasts. When he gets off the ark, he takes all the, the, the clean beasts and he makes burnt sacrifices unto the Lord in Genesis 9. It's not that he couldn't eat the ones that were unclean. And, and you know, the animals that are unclean are unclean for various reasons. Usually the ones that are clean are, are the ones that are herbivores. And the animals that are carnivores are considered unclean. But it is not wrong for us to eat animals that are, you know, on the forbidden list of the book of Leviticus. Because in the New Testament, God very clearly tells us that every creature of God is good and nothing to be refused if it be received with thanksgiving. It's sanctified by the word of God of prayer. And that jives with what he said in Genesis 9. It was only a temporary restri restriction for the children of Israel just for a small part of human history. Most of human history, we've been allowed to eat all meats. 
But anyway, in this new movie, it's all about just saving the animals. So Noah feels that God wants him to murder everyone on the ark and kill himself. So from what I understand, this Noah movie is like a, a, a horror movie in a sense where, you know, Noah's going around, he's going to kill, a, I mean, literally, Noah's going to kill a newborn baby in this movie. I mean, there's like, a, like one of his, because you know he has the three sons and the three wives. I guess one, in this new movie, no, one of Noah's sons and their wife, they have a baby and Noah's like, we got to kill it. We got to kill that baby. And he, he's like chasing it or I don't know. And then there's like a stowaway on the ark. Like, you know, it's not just Noah's family, two ball cane or some, you know, just they just pick some random name from a genealogy in Genesis 4. Like, let's put this guy on the ark. And he's trying to kill people and Noah's trying to kill people. See, ah, you're not getting the movie exactly right. I don't want to get the movie right. I want to get the Bible right. Oh, you, met, you mixed up the plot. Oh, oh. Look, that's what the movie's basically about. It's about how God wants all humans dead. He just wants animals and plants to live. Because human bad, animal good. Now, does that fit the world's agenda? Does that fit Satan's eugenics agenda? Does that fit the agenda that's inscribed on the Georgia Guidestones? That says, you know, we need to eliminate 90% of the population and bring it down to 500 million? Does that fit the agenda of Bill Gates and these other globalists? Does that fit the agenda of the, the, the who was the Prince of England, Prince Philip or whatever, who said, I want to be reincarnated as a virus to kill off 90% of mankind? I mean, it's bizarre, but, but the devil hates man. And he wants to kill as many people as he can and murder as many people as he can. That's why he loves abortion. He loves warfare. He loves everything that just slaughters innocent people. And what we see in this new movie is a complete perversion of Scripture. It's not the story of the Bible which says, look, Noah is a godly man. He's going to be saved and his family. We're going to wipe out the wickedness on the earth because the earth was filled with violence. And we're going to start over with mankind. It just becomes this environmental wacko, kill all humans, and it turns Noah into this murderer. And of course, I'm, I'm sure, I don't know anything else, that's pretty much all I know about the movie, but I'm sure it also cuts out, you know, the condemnation of sodomy yeah. in Genesis 9. Probably cuts that out. You know, that doesn't fit the agenda. So, you know, if you go see that movie, you're not right with God. And you just come out and say it. You're not right with God. Oh, but I just want to see what it's like. Open the Bible and see what it's like. You know, there were people who wanted to see what was in the Ark of the Covenant, too, just to see what it was like, and they all died. Okay? And, you know, there were also people who just wanted to taste the fruit from a certain tree and just kind of see what it was like, and they died. They died the same day that they ate thereof spiritually, and they damned their descendants of mankind. Look, we don't need to just go, let's go see what it's like. Let's just go see for ourselves. Why do you need to go see? I mean... Do you have to just go and just uh, eat filth off the street just to see what it tastes like? I mean, you already know it's trash. You already know it's garbage. You already know that what Hollywood puts out is ungodliness. Yeah, but it's fun to go to the movies. Well, you know, it's fun to get drunk, right? Yeah, it's fun to go out and commit fornication. It's fun to go out. Look, sometimes sin can be fun. It's still wrong. The Bible says not to enjoy the pleasures of sin for a season. Of course it's fun to go to the movies, but you know what's even more fun is when you actually live a godly, clean life and actually read the Bible and let the Bible tell you what Noah was like and what the flood was like and not let the world tell you what Noah's like. You say, well, I, I can handle it. It's not going to affect me. Well, it might plant some weird seeds in your mind, not to mention all the subliminal messages that are hidden in these movies. Who knows what they're brainwashing you with? I wouldn't, I wouldn't go in there. There's no point. Save your money. Do what's right. Amen. Yeah. Now, this is a pretty vague account of the flood right here in Job 22, but it's way more accurate than anything that's going on at the movie theater, okay? But anyway, let's just quickly finish up here with the chapter. It says...